We're at Goodison Park for the final game of the Group H stage of the Europa League. For the first time in seven years, we welcome a Russian team to Goodison Park. Back then, it was Zenit St. Petersburg. Everton won, but Zenit St. Petersburg had the last laugh by going on to win the trophy. That cannot happen tonight because FC Krasnodar are already out. And Graeme Sharp, as we're already through, this is the, uh, the perfect dead rubber, if you like. Yeah, it definitely is. I think we'll see a lot of uh, the kids playing tonight. Uh, obviously, some of the, the players coming back from uh, injury, Oviedo, Coney. Uh, you know, be interesting to see how they get on tonight. But, you know, there's still a bit to play for, you know, for the kids that are coming in. You know, it's an ideal opportunity to show the manager that they can play at the highest level. It'll be interesting to see how Krasnodar, you know, approach the game, as you said, Darren, they're out of it. But they want to go out in a high as well. So it's, it's still got the makings of a, of a decent game. Uh, obviously, I'm looking forward to seeing the young players play. You're looking forward to see Aruna Kone as well. Yeah, it's been a, a really tough time for him. You know, he came in from Wigan, you know, a lot expected of him, got a really uh, bad injury. You know, he's had to be very, very patient, uh, worked extremely hard to get back to this stage. Obviously, I still think he's a, a still a wee while to go. Uh, played the other week there in under-21, scored a, a really good goal. So he'll be looking forward to it. So it's important for him that, you know, the team put in a performance and help him along his way, as is Brian Oviedo. So... Aruna Kony uh, deserves this opportunity tonight and hopefully he can take it. It's not just a case of the gaffer giving the kids a game because the group is over. He's probably saying, look, go and prove a point to me. Let's see what you can do. Well, definitely. You know, everybody knows that the form of recent hasn't been great. You know, so there's an opportunity. If I'm a young kid now you know, who, who gets a chance tonight, you know, I'll be rolling my sleeves up and saying, listen, I've got a chance to impress the manager. And you just never know, you know if results... And don't go our way. You know, there's an opportunity that if if I put myself in the manager's thoughts, I may well get a chance. So it'll be a good, it'll be an interesting team sheet tonight. You know, I think a lot of the main players will be will be missing, but what a fantastic opportunity for the younger players. I'll tell you somebody who will be looking forward to the game, Joel Robles, if he can remember the rules. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long, long wait for Joel as well. He, he played extremely well in the last under-21 game against Sunderland. Here, uh, had a really uh, great evening on the night. Saved some. You know, numerous chances. So it's a big opportunity for him as well. You know, he'll be disappointed that he hasn't probably put more pressure on Tim Howard. But uh, this is an opportunity for him, not just to show the manager, but to show the supporters as well. You know that he that he's got a future at the football club, and he's more than uh, more than capable of coming in and doing the job. Well, the Evertonians have certainly embraced this Europa League campaign thus far. We're not expecting quite a full house tonight here at Goodison Park, but we're in for a very, very interesting and hopefully entertaining evening. It's Everton versus FC Krasnodar in the final game of Group H.